it is true uh, that our borders are broken. The question is, how do we best fix them? Well, everyone in the United States believes that people should have a right to migrate to get a better life, because that's why they're here. So sure, they accept that principle, just not for others. Stupid people of America, good evening. If you ain't mad, you ain't paying attention. I would have a decree that you've got 90 days to get out of my country. After that 90 days, you'll be a fugitive in my country, and if we catch you, automatic five years in jail. This does not belong to Mexico. It belongs to us. And we will not let it go. Those immigrants of the past, they are the Americans of today. These Mexicans of today, they are going to be the Americans of tomorrow. It's inevitable. That is history. And so assimilation is, is the key point, and the federal government has adapted itself to the illegal immigrant rather than the illegal immigrant adapting himself to the government. There are people who come across who are just trying to come across to, to work, coming across to meet with their family or have, have a better life, and we understand that. When was the last time you saw a Latino on a corner with a sign that says, we'll work for food? You never see it. You'll see five or six Latinos at a corner at a Home Depot, ready to jump in your car to go to work. There is a lot of talk and a lot of debate about my, uh, immigration in this country, but I think these people are fleeing their own country for a reason. Then there are those who are coming north right now while we're speaking, and they're in the Arizona desert, and they are thirsty and hungry and lost, and some of them are going to die. It doesn't get any more human than this. What we need to do is think about what is the America that we would like our immigration laws to create.